question two converts a percentage error into an absolute error. The value was 235 plus or minus 5% unit in metres. What we need to do is we need to calculate 5% of 235. There's a few different ways of doing this. 5% is in fact 5 over 100 of 235. If you want to go straight to the decimal, it's 0.05, that's 5 over 100, multiplied by 235. So how to convert percentages into fractions, and we need to therefore do the calculation. And let me drag a calculator into the screen for you. So we're looking for 0.05 multiplied by 235 equals 11.75. Okay. 11.75. Now let's have a look at our answer. Our answer is three significant figures with no decimal places. So 235 plus or minus. Now to go from a percentage to an absolute, 5% is the percentage, 11.75 is the absolute. But we've got two decimal places here. Now our value doesn't have decimal places, so therefore we can't have decimal places in our error. And so when we look at this 11.7, we need to cut off our value here. And therefore, because of the 0.7 being greater than 0.5, we round it up. And so therefore, we have an answer of 235 plus or minus 12 metres, which means we could go up plus 12 metres, which is 247 metres, or we could go down 12 metres from this value, which is 223. And we look at the difference between those two, is 24. And that's twice of 12. So 235 plus 12, 235 minus 12. Our answer is somewhere between 247 and 223. That's a 5% error. But to convert it into an absolute error, that's 235 plus or minus 12 metres.